Welcome back class, I'm Mr. Teacher with the SAT Math Video Guide. Um, I did spend a week basically getting used to, uh, to my new school schedule, but now I'm back. So, we will be continuing on this problem which has to do with sales of a mall or a shop or a shirt shop. During a sale, a customer can buy one shirt for X dollars. And, for example, the cost of the second shirt, I skipped over a line. Each additional shirt the customer buys costs Z dollars less than the first shirt. For example, the cost of the second shirt is dollar X minus dollar Z. Which of the following represents the customer's cost in dollars for N shirts bought during the sale? So, being number 18 and very close to the end, this... Uh, has a pretty big trick in it and you might notice it by now if you've been following along for this t long uh -huh. so the first shirt will cost X dollars so let's just write down X each next one will be Z dollars less than the first not just the second one but every single one after the first one will be Z dollars less than dollar X so they bought N shirts so you need to add this dollar X, which is the first shirt, with the number of shirts they're buying. So N shirts minus 1. The reason you put minus 1 is because you already bought one shirt, which is under the price of dollar X. And so N minus 1 shirt times X minus Z. X minus Z is the price of every other shirt besides the first one. So when you multiply that reduce price with the number of every other sh shirt you get the formula of the cost so that will be choice a all right so we'll move on to number 19 there's a mark there 19 let me flip over the page okay so this looks like a piece of rounded pie and I'm guessing it has to do with pi as well. Uh, sort of like that. Okay. It's a, it's the arc of a circle. This is point Q, point R, point P. This is 30 degrees. And okay. And the figure above, QR, is the arc of a circle with center P. If the length of arc QR is 6 pi, what is the area of sector PQR? Okay then. So we know the length of Q arc QR is 6 pi, and this is a 30 degree arc. So we can find the circumference of the entire circle just with this. If we multiply 6 pi with the number of divisions of 6 pi, so basically 360 divided by 30 is equal to 12. So there are 12 of these equal arcs are all that make up one entire circle, each one with length 6 pi. So to find the circumference of the entire circle, we just multiply 6 pi with 12, and we'll get 72. And basic rule, never do multiplication from left to right. It's just that I had the table memorized in my head, which is why I wrote it like that. So now we next step since we need to find the area of this sector PQR now we need to find the diameter and the radius of the entire circle so if the circumference of the entire circle is 72 pi the diameter is equal to 72 and so the radius is equal to 36 now we know the ra radius of the entire circle what we need to do is we need to find the area of the entire circle so 36 squared pi 36 squared and this is equal to 36 squared is it's 1296 okay so now we need to remember that there are 12 equal parts that we wrote out or showed and one of the equal parts is this so now we need to divide 1296 by 12 as there are 12 equal parts and once we do that we'll have the area of just this one sector so that will end up to be, I am running out of space here, let's go a bit further down, this is 8, okay, so the area of the sector 
is 108 pi, and that's choice A. So now we'll go to the final problem, and after that, so you can see this is a pretty short video, I'm just finishing up this section, but I'm going to try and post a couple more videos today. So, there are 75 more women than men enrolled in Linden College. If there are n men enrolled, the n men enrolled, that's so fun to say, then in terms of n, what percent of those enrolled are men? Okay. So, there are 75 more women than men, and there are n men. So, <laughs> it's so fun to say. So, the number of women is 75 plus n. And to find the percentage of men out of the total number of students, it would be n divided by n plus n plus 75. n plus 75 is the number of women, n is men. So this would be n over 2n plus 75. But you might be wondering by now that it can't be that easy. Well, it's not that easy. It's kind of tricky because this is just a proportion. This is not a percentage. To make it a percentage, we need to multiply it by 100 and then turn it into a percent. Because if we kept the n over 2n plus 75, if we made this into a percent, we would be dividing the entire thing by 100, but not changing it back. So it wouldn't be a percentage in the first place. It would be a percentage in the f second place. Reason what I'm trying to explain is that the value won't be the same. But if we multiply 100 back again, the value will be the same and it will be a percentage. So this is choice E. And that is the correct answer. I realized I've stumbled a couple times but it was just a week long break um, apparently a month long break does nothing but a week long does so I hope this helped you with your math preparation and your SAT preparation and I will see you in the next video